It's official, people. We've hit 4K. Woo! Hello guys, what is happening? It is Matt here from Sophisticated Obsession and yes, today we have hit 4K subscribers. That is a huge achievement for me, myself and I. Also, a big testament to the fact that there are 4,000 people in the world that can put up with my personality. So guys, I think really all of the congratulations and all of the praise needs to be to you. Okay, so a week ago I put out on Instagram three questions to do with lockdown because I don't know about you, but I have had enough of lockdown. So I have then named this video 99 problems and lockdown is one. Because let's be honest, every single problem that we have at the moment, it has got something to do with what we are living through right now. So let's just have a group moan, a group therapy session, and let's just get some stuff off our chest. Boom, have I gone through everything? I think so. Let's do this. Let's go through your answers. So the first question that I asked was, what do you miss most about normal life. I got absolutely loads of answers for this one, so let's crack on. Okay, so we start off with the first one, uh, sitting with someone and getting coffee. I, I miss going out for coffee. I miss sitting in a coffee shop with my Mac or going and grabbing a coffee with somebody. Yeah, 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 we're moving on. <laughs> Everything and the bar open. Who doesn't miss bars being open? I mean, I miss that insanely. In fairness though, that has not stopped me drinking. I'm probably drinking more since being in lockdown. I would kind of save myself to then go out and have a drink and I would then properly go hard or go home. Now, I'm just like, what do I do? Let's just open a bottle of wine. I think I'm gonna be pleased when bars open purely because I, strangely enough, don't think I will drink as much. Having said that though, the first weekend that those bars are opening, whoo, I will not remember it. Okay, so this next one is a pretty popular one. Being able to hang out with friends 24 seven. Absolutely. I think that that has been the one thing that I've really suffered with. The fact that I can't just meet up with my mates. Being able to see who I want, when I want, where I want it. And cuddles. This one is funny because genuinely I have not seen Emma in a while and I miss her hugs. So this next one, going out with friends and also going on holiday. I miss holidays so much. And again, I think that makes quite a nice segue into some of the other answers. Traveling abroad, yep, sad face. <laughs> again, going on holiday. Yeah, I think holiday prices are going to be a little bit steep when everything then opens up. Literally everyone is just gonna be like, book a holiday. I don't care where, just book a holiday. Going to Lithuania every summer. Ooh, that's interesting. I've never been to Lithuania before. Are there specific places that you can can see, is there something specific that you go for? But yeah, to the person that sent this in, please let me know, what should I go and see if I go to Lithuania? Because yeah, I'd be really, really interested. Cruising, oh my God, yes. I love cruising so much. I get that quite a few people are like cruising, nah, that's not for me. And that's probably because the average age of cruising is about 102? I'm only messing, it's, it's not 102, it's about 87. I think what I love about cruising is the fact that you wake up in a new place every single day. That has then given me kind of inspiration to then go to other places. Not so great if you're a bit seasick. Okay, going out. Oh my God, yes. I know that the first night that we are able to go out, I will be out. The night will take me. I think I will be one with the streets. That sounded really wrong. I'm sorry, no, I'm not one with the streets. Matt, we need to cut that. Oh my Christ, yes. Going out and not worrying about bringing a mask. Oh my God. This answer there speaks to my soul. This has been the bane of my existence for the past year. I struggle enough to bring a bag for life. How do you think I fared with then another thing to remember every time I left the house. I just go, I just leave. This one has been an absolute nightmare because a bag for life, you're a bit like, oh, I've forgotten my bag for life. God damn it, I'm gonna have to buy another one and also risk killing a turtle. But now, a mask, it's like, no, you're not coming in. Point blank refusal. The amount of times when I've walked down the street to the co-op to then realize I don't have a mask. 
And there is literally nothing I can do about that. I'm going home and I'm staying in. I don't need whatever it was that I was going to get in the first place. I don't need it. Out of principle, <laughs> I don't need it. <laughs> Great answer, by the way. <laughs> the gym and being able to go to dance studios. Yes, the gym, I can understand that. I personally find that just doing exercise at home, I don't like it. The sofa, it's there. And yet I'm then sweating my ass off in front of said sofa. No, it's just not happening. I think I actually need to learn to dance properly for other people's safety. Fair. I haven't been to a fair in years. Like I'm talking before all of this happened. Yep, this one majorly speaks to me, cinemas and theatres. I love going to the cinema just for the fact of you go and watch a movie. It's like, what, what's not to love? Apart from if the movie sucks, then yeah, that's not so great. But um, also, there's just nothing like going to the theatre. To be quite honest, call me sad, but I would not mind going to the theatre on my own. I find that going to the cinema on your own a little bit suspect. Whereas I don't think it's that bad in the theatre. I think quite a few people that are quite woke sort of go, oh, you know, some, I'm taking myself to the theatre for a, a cultural evening. I personally think that I am one of those people. I don't. Okay, next one. Oh, festivals, concerts. Yes, love it. Actually, that's a really good question. Like, who will be the first band or artist or whatever it is that you're into? Who will be the first person that you go and see? I would love to go and see Childish Gambino. Seeing and being part of live music. Right, now you're just showing off because I've got absolutely zero musical talent. I know he's put this down. Ben, mate, you are an insanely talented artist. So yeah, um, stop trying to make me jealous about your silky, soulful skills. Okay, next up, family. I just wanna hug them. Yes, yes, yes. This one, I think again, when I read it, I was like, this makes me feel quite emotional. Hugging everyone. <laughs> I've just got visions of when the lockdown is then just lifted, you just going out and just hugging random strangers, just going, we can do it. <laughs> hugging people again, like it's just so, so popular, isn't it? Not being able to wear fragrances out and about properly. Yeah, I do actually agree with this one, purely because I don't want to wear anything that is then too heavy that I'm either going to get a headache from because I'm in the same area, or smoking out the people I live with. What a way to end this question. Mostly everything. Okay, right, so that was the first question. So now let's get into the second one, which is what standard has slipped most since you've been in lockdown? Let's start off with this one. Oh, this is a strong one. My appearance. Haven't worn anything other than loungewear. <laughs> Sweatpants have become part of my extended body. I think that it's starting to mold into my actual skin. I'm gonna have a real big shock when I have to put a suit back on because I don't know if that suit is actually going to be that forgiving anymore. Do you know what, thinking about it, that answer there, that scares me a little bit. I don't wanna wear a suit. I like comfy pants so much. Elastic is my friend. Okay, next one, getting out of my pajamas. There have been moments when I have realized I've still been in my dressing gown and I've been working from home and it is in the middle of the afternoon. But then you're into that weird thing of, is there really much point in getting dressed into some normal clothes only to then get back into your dressing gown like two hours later? <gasps> I think not. Okay, next one, hair washing. Just throw a hat on. Simple. That is literally like sweeping it under the rug, isn't it? You just put a cap on, no one sees it. No one knows, no one needs to know. On that note though, we're talking about hair, haircuts. I need a haircut. I'm getting a little bit sick and tired of putting in double the amount of product because it's just out there. Oh, we've got another one. The hair, so gray. <laughs> it's all right, Emma. I found gray hairs as well. I first found my gray hairs and I was like, holy hell, like I am old. Whereas actually, on reflection, I'm looking forward to the salt and pepper look. Now you can disagree with me all you like, but I personally think I'd give the salt and pepper look a good go. The amount of exercise I do in a day. Now is this you're doing too much because you're bored or you're not doing enough? Personally I think like if you're doing loads of exercise, great, but don't burn yourself out. Or at the same time, if you're not doing exercise, okay, that's fine. If you 
are happy, the way you look, then you go for it. Oh, this one's an interesting one. Starting work in the morning, now working till midnight instead. I'm finding that actually the work-life balance really difficult. I really like doing a commute. I usually have about half an hour drive. I love that. Gives me time to wake up in the morning, but also when I'm driving home, I kind of feel like I'm leaving work at work. And then when I go home, that's home time. I'm not letting that work life bleed into my home life. Working from home, you don't have that because you simply have like one seat is your work seat and then you just move over to the other side of the room and then suddenly you're, you're out of work. No, it doesn't work and, and, you, and you then can't switch off. So I fully appreciate this. I, I'm spending so many nights working and then I can't even switch off, like I can't even get to sleep. So yeah, I, I, I totally agree with you on that one. And that leads me on to this next one, my sleeping pattern. Don't get me wrong, when I feel in a creative mood, I can't sleep. If I'm feeling creative or if I'm thinking about like making a new video or if I'm thinking about uh, shooting something or editing something or, or I'm creating something at work, like, yeah, I get that. I don't like, sort of leading off to that last one, I don't like it when you finish work or you're meant to finish work, but you just don't because you're still doing a few bits and then you're going to bed thinking about it. Okay, let's now get into the final question. So what is the first thing that you are going to do after lockdown? Meet all your friends and family. My friends and family. I mean, you can if you want. Go go for it. That's absolutely fine. I'll, I'll introduce you. I get what you mean. Just meeting up with friends and family is going to be so, so important. I think that's going to be like the first thing on quite a few people's lists. I think everybody will be feeling that. I don't think you are ever going to get anybody flaking out going like, yeah, I might do that, but I'm washing my hair. Everyone's going to be like, yeah, I'm there. If we're allowed to see my grandparents, it has felt like an eternity since I hugged my grandparents and they've been through a shed ton of stuff recently. Their, their health hasn't been great and all I've wanted to do is just go over and just give them a cuddle. And yeah, and not being able to has been really, really hard hitting. Not to sound dramatic or anything, but there have been times when my grandparents have been really ill and I've thought, oh my God, like, is, is that it? And I think that that has been one thing where I've been like, I do not want to say goodbye to them or to have then said goodbye without them actually giving them a hug. I know that that sounds so dark and bleak and I know that I've dropped the mood of this video somewhat, but I do think that it is important. You know, so many people are, are losing loved ones and they can't even then like give them a hug and they can't even like be there with them. I, I really feel for, for um, those families out there. I really feel for them because this has just been a, a torrid time for absolutely everybody. So um, anybody out there that is suffering, you know that I've got like 100% support for you. And um, you know, and if you wanted to then just have a chat, DM me. I'll be more than happy to then like have a, like, a little chat with you and just have like a little laugh. So yeah. Um, that's just a, that's just my like little thing of, I'm not a therapist in any way, but I, I know that we're all in it together. Travel and visit loved ones in other places in the world. God, you're so lucky. I'd love to have that excuse where I'd just be like, yeah, um, I wanna see you, so I'm coming over. Cause they wouldn't have a choice, cause I'd be family. They wouldn't be able to turn me away. But if there is anybody that would like to adopt me, um, if you are in another country, then please uh, comment down below because I would love to come and stay with you. Travel! <laughs> exclamation, 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 exclamation! I think everybody is a bit like, we just need to get out. I don't care where, just get out of the room. Going on a nice chilled holiday. I don't know what I would want to do more. Go on a chilled one or go on like a proper adventure. Both. I'm booking both. Meeting up with friends? Yeah. That's, uh, that is essential. Going out to a restaurant or something to eat. I miss so many restaurants in Liverpool at the moment. Liverpool has got the most incredible independent stores and they proper like nourish those stores as well. And I just miss them because they are all so delicious. Going out for a meal with the girls. Totally down for that. Yeah, 
love it. That's not me inviting you to your girls' night, by the way. Go out for a meeting with the girls. What? Is this the same person or are these two people? Maybe they're in the same friend. Are you in the same friendship group? You've probably answered this together, haven't you? Fair enough, I like your style. You've like, kind of cemented the fact that you are going for a meal with those girls. Excellent, love it. Um, let me know where you go. Meet boys. Emoji. You do who? You do you, you know what I mean. A lot of pints with a lot of good company. Mm -mm. Oh yes. Ben, I hope that I am part of that good company because um, if you go out and have those pints without me there, I'm not gonna be very happy. But I, I love you, so I can't do anything about it. But, but yeah, just know that you're breaking my heart a little bit. Going out for a meal and lots of wine. I like meals, I like wine, I love them combined. So yes, wholeheartedly, I am down for this. Games night, oh yes. Oh, I love a games night. Oh God, I have so much fun with games night. But the thing is, I take it so seriously, not in the sense that I'm a bad loser. Well, not most of the time, unless people are trying to wind me up on purpose, then I'm not so great of a loser. I just get so stressed out because I want to then do well. So certainly like in team games, oh my God, I feel like I'm having like an out of body experience. There's this game um, called Who's in the Bag? You have these like little cards that you pull out of a bag, hence the name, and they've got names on them. And then you have to basically act out who that person is. Oh my Christ. It is the most stressful thing ever. I feel my soul is about to leap out of me and, and kind of perform this really weird ritual. I haven't phrased it in the right frame of mind. You're probably looking at it going, Jesus Christ, like, games night? You need more of like an exorcism, Matt. But no, genuinely, it is really, really fun. Have a big barbecue in the garden. That with some beers and have some friends round or family round. Perfect. Usually that's what I do for my birthday. So what I'll do is I'll invite my family round and then we'll just have a lovely like barbecue in the garden and yeah, just get fat and get drunk. Go to dance and then the gym. <laughs> actually, I'd love to get involved in some classes. So like a dance group or I'm actually really into yoga at the moment. I, I actually want to try like hot yoga or something like that. I think that I would be really down for that. And plus then I get to meet some new people as well, which is always nice. Shopping! Oh my God, yes. Having said that, that has not stopped me from shopping online. Everyone has been talking about like how much they've been saving over lockdown. I haven't saved that much. <laughs> and now I am regretting previous past Matt's decisions. Hmm. Okay, and the last one. To Zara, to try and clothes and a fine restaurant. Mm, mm, mm. Joe, you know I love Zara, but I can only wear Zara from this part. Trousers, can't do it. They're, they're like made for like people seven foot. They're ridiculous. Has anyone else found that? That the length of Zara's trousers or, or whatever is just insane. I just don't get it. Like. What? What? Where are you getting all of this extra leg length? I don't get it. Give me some, because I'm vertically challenged. But also go into a fine restaurant. Mmm. Yes. Absolutely. Having said that, I don't know if I'll be allowed into a fine restaurant anymore because I feel like I've kind of regressed as a human being and I'm I'm not really I'm not really one with being a human anymore. I feel more animalistic. And there we go. Those are the answers to 99 problems and lockdown is one. Thank you to everybody that has answered those questions. I had great fun in reading those out and just having a bit more of a dialogue with you. Be sure to go and check out the Instagram to then take part in the next one that I do. And also let me know down below in what sort of questions would you like me to ask next time? And that is it. But before I go, I just want to sign off by saying thank you again to the 4,000 people out there that have made this channel. Thank you ever so much. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure that you stay safe and stay strong because we are nearly at the end of this crazy period in our lives. We've got this people. Okay, I'll see you later guys. 
Bye.